French authorities detained Russian Pavel Durov, the founder of the messaging app Telegram, at Le Bourget Airport on the outskirts of Paris. The investigation is preliminary and accuses him of terrorism, drug trafficking, fraud, money laundering, selling stolen goods, and sexual offenses against children. Durov could face up to 20 years in prison. The Russian embassy in France told that it plans to protect Durov's rights and seek consular access to him, but the French side has so far avoided engagement on this issue. Some news media outlets and telegram channels circulated reports that Durov met with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Azerbaijan. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov denied news media reports that Vladimir Putin allegedly met with the co-founder of the Telegram instant messaging service, Pavel Durov, during his visit to Azerbaijan. No, Peskov said, when asked whether there the meeting actually happened. Russian President Vladimir Putin paid a state visit to Azerbaijan from August 18 to 19. Some news media outlets and telegram channels circulated reports that Durov was also allegedly visiting Azerbaijani on the same dates and had an informal meeting with the Russian leader. Recall, Pavel Durov mysteriously managed to get French citizenship in 2021 without ever even living in the country. Normally, French citizenship requires proof of five years of residency, and seemingly more importantly to French authorities, five full years of paying income tax in France. Instead, Durov managed to get fast-tracked citizenship through a French foreign ministry initiative that awards naturalization based on some kind of action that contributes to the image, prosperity, and international relations of France. Durov, often referred to as the Mark Zuckerberg of Russia, launched Telegram with his brother Nikolai in 2013 and has a net worth of $9.15 billion, according to Bloomberg's Billionaire Index. He was born in Russia but left in 2014 after refusing to comply with requests from the Russian government to turn over data on Ukrainian contact users and now lives in Dubai. The United States has sent an RC-135U aircraft known as Combat Sent to Europe. It is believed to have been gathering intelligence on Russia, Newsweek informs. According to media reports, the Combat Sent landed at Mildenhall Air Base in eastern Britain on August the 18th. Since then, it has conducted several hours of flight in the Baltic region, which borders Russia and Belarus. The aircraft is designed for reconnaissance and can detect and identify signals from foreign military ground, sea and air radar systems. Intelligence collected by the Combat Sent helps determine the detailed operating characteristics and capabilities of foreign military radars, the Air Force says. This enables U.S. defense planners to develop evasion techniques and equipment that can detect, warn of, or defeat adversary systems, the article states. The exact purpose of its mission, as well as whether the collected information will be shared with other countries, remains unknown. Recently, the Boeing-built aircraft took off for its first sortie since arriving at RAF Mildenhall. It flew eastward and transited Dutch, German and Polish airspace before bypassing the Russian semi-exclave of Kaliningrad, which is sandwiched between NATO members Poland in the south and Lithuania in the north. Newsweek's map displaying Coordinated Universal Time or UTC traces the combat sense flight path in the Baltic Sea as it flies through Lithuania Latvian and Estonian airspace to reach the shores of the Gulf of Finland. It then passes northwest of Belarus and north of Kaliningrad before returning to Mildenhall. Kaliningrad falls under Russia's Lenin military district, which was re-established on March the 1st as a retaliatory measure after both Finland and Sweden joined NATO. The Russian Navy's Baltic fleet is also headquartered there, making the territory an important outpost in the region. The flight lasted approximately six hours, but its exact purpose and the length of the combat sense deployment to Europe were not immediately clear. The Air Force's combat sent aircraft belonged to the RC-135 family of reconnaissance airframes, which were developed from the Boeing C-135 Stratolifter transport jet. Others in the lineup include the RC-135V stroke W rivet joint and RC-135S Cobra Ball. 
The rivet joint detects, identified and geolocates signals throughout the electromagnetic spectrum, while the Cobra ball collects optical and electronic data on ballistic missiles. Variants of the RC-135 are forward deployed worldwide and are expected to remain in service until the 2040s.